change is coming to Harborough and District. It's up to you how you deal with it. Harborough Council currently owns more than 2,000 homes across the district. The council provides safe, secure and affordable homes for young people, families and older residents. But there are changes on the horizon. Local surveys have shown that tenants want higher levels of improvements and services. Things like more secure doors, better kitchens and bathrooms, and extra local support. The council can't afford any of those things. In fact, it can't even afford to keep up existing standards of service in the future. What's the answer then? Well, the council firmly believes that by transferring homes to a new not-for-profit housing association called Seven Locks Housing, tenants will get extra improvements to their homes and neighbourhoods. So, what do tenants think about that? Why do we need to transfer homes to get improvements? What will happen to rents if we vote for transfer? How would the changes affect my rights as a tenant? And how would this affect repairs and maintenance to our homes? And what will happen to housing staff if the transfer goes ahead? We'll answer those questions shortly. In the meantime, let's find out more about why this change is so important. Simon Galton, the leader of the council, told us more. We're clear that transfer is going to give tenants the best deal. When you look at how much the council can afford to spend and then compare it with what a new housing association could invest, there's just no comparison. We don't want residents to live in basic housing. We want people to live in modern, well-maintained homes. We want tenants to have decent kitchens and bathrooms and extra security. And we want younger people to have access to new modern housing when they grow up. That can happen if homes transfer to Seven Locks housing. But as a council, we can't afford to deliver everything tenants tell us they want. Surely it's not as bad as that? Yes, it is. If the council kept the homes, we'd have to cut our services by £3 million in the next five years. We couldn't afford the same level of improvements that Seven Locks Housing could provide, and services would suffer. And what's worse, we're also losing out because money from the sale of council homes under the government's right to buy scheme has to go into a national kitty. That wouldn't happen under Seven Locks Housing. By creating a new housing association, a lot more money can be raised to maintain and improve homes without large rent increases. Tenants would keep all the key rights they have now, and even better, Seven Locks Housing can bring in much needed cash for new homes and security improvements. That makes sense. So let's get some answers to those questions we heard earlier. Mandy McMullen, one of the council's scheme managers, is on hand to help. Why do we need to transfer homes to get improvements? Because of national rules, we'd be better off financially. Seven Locks Housing could keep and reinvest every penny of rent collected, but with the council, 48 pence of every pound collected will be siphoned off to other areas of the country. Also, housing associations are allowed to borrow money from high street banks and building societies to make more home and neighbourhood improvements happen. The council can't do that. What will happen to rents if we vote for transfer? The government uses the same rules to control how the council and housing association rents are set. So rents would go up, but by the same amount whether tenants choose to stay with the council or transfer to Seven Locks Housing. How would the changes affect my rights as a tenant? If homes transfer, all your key rights will stay exactly as they are now. You'd still have the right to buy, exchange or improve your home, assuming you do now of course. The full list of promises that Seven Locks Housing would deliver in the Harbour District was included in an offer document recently sent to all tenants. And how would this affect repairs and maintenance to our homes? Here's where things get really interesting. If homes transfer, Seven Locks Housing would own and manage our properties. Seven Locks Housing would make some things happen that the council just couldn't afford to. For example, Seven Locks Housing would fit new front and back doors to 1,300 homes as part of its improvement programme. Around 1,300 homes would get new, modern bathrooms, whereas the council can't afford to do any. 
Seven Locks Housing would offer sheltered housing tenants a choice of walk-in shower or over bath shower, and Seven Locks Housing would also spend almost £1 million more than the council to improve local neighbourhoods, including the areas around tenants' homes. A group of skilled volunteers, including local residents, has been recruited to direct the work of Seven Locks Housing if tenants vote for transfer. This group, known as the Shadow Board, is chaired by local resident Judith Burdett. Judith believes that transfer would be a good thing for tenants. We're convinced that transferring homes to Seven Locks Housing is the only way to provide a good quality homes for all our tenants and work towards solving the housing problems in our district. But ultimately, it's the tenants to decide. A secret ballot will be held in spring 2007, so local people have the chance to decide the future of our homes. The vote will be run and counted by the Electoral Reform Ballot Services, independently of the council. Transfer would mean much more money to spend on tenants' homes and housing services. It would mean seven locks housing keeping every penny of rent collected to spend on homes and housing services, when the council would lose 48 pence for every pound collected. A major programme of modernisation and improvements done to standards that tenants want and starting straight away after the transfer. Guarantees of high quality improved housing services, whereas with the council, funding cuts would mean that services get worse over time. More money for a better quality repair service. The option for tenants to be directly involved in decisions affecting their homes. Those benefits won't happen with the council. Not because the council doesn't want to do them, they just can't afford to. And what will happen to housing staff if the transfer goes ahead? The other thing that tenants need to know is that the housing staff we deal with at the council now would move over to Seven Locks Housing. So what is Seven Locks Housing? Well, it's a new not-for-profit landlord created to manage homes in Harborough and District. The new housing association would be part of a group with another housing association called Dales Housing. Dales Housing was created in 2002 when Derbyshire Dales tenants voted yes to transfer their homes. Pat Chadwick is a Dales Housing tenant. Here's what she thinks about the organisation. The biggest fear that we had as tenants was that there would be huge rent increases. How can you deliver all this work and not increase the rent? But five years on, I'm here to tell you they've kept their promises. Rent increases are at the same level as before with District Council. We've had new bathrooms, new kitchens, double glazing, rewired, redecorated. One of the main things that you'll find as tenants is that you can get involved and the involvement is absolutely amazing. The investment programme doesn't stop after five years, it goes on continuously. They'll always be investing in your houses, they'll always be improving them, doors, windows, whatever else needs doing. It doesn't stop, it continues. Please use your vote. The transfer to Seven Lots can only go ahead if you vote yes. If you want the same benefits as we have, you can only get them if you transfer to Seven Lots. So, how can tenants decide what to do? Janice Culpin is a council tenant who's been involved in the transfer preparations. A group of us have been working with our independent tenant advisor called DWA. Their job is to make sure that residents get the facts about transfer not opinions or gossip. So they're helping us send out regular newsletters, holding tenants meetings and road shows, and making sure that the tenants get the best possible deal. Our meetings are important because we get the chance to look at transfer proposals in detail. We've been challenging the details, assessing what's on offer and making sure that tenants get the best possible deal and all the information they need. We also check that any information sent out by the council is fair and open. Every newsletter, fact sheet and booklet sent out by the council gets checked before it goes to the tenants. Tenant representatives check the information and can comment on it. 
and even the government gives it the once over. So you can be sure that anything coming from the council or DWA gives you the facts plain and straight. Other people don't have to follow these rules. Some individuals may have a political point to prove and they can say what they like. It doesn't have to be accurate. So be careful who you listen to and if you hear any rumours about the transfer plans, just pick up the phone and check with DWA or the council. They're the people with the facts who can advise you. So if tenants want to know more about the transfer plans, who should they contact? You can ring the council for help, advice or news updates. You can also call DWA for answers to your questions. They'll give free independent advice and help about the proposed transfer. The main thing to remember is that it's up to the tenants to decide who owns and manages our homes in future. I'm definitely going to vote. And I'd say to any other tenant, find out what it's all about and then make sure you use your vote. A quick recap. The future of housing in Harborough is down to you. In the end, it's tenants, not the council, who will decide where the transfer should go ahead. There's no such thing as no change. Change will happen regardless of who owns and manages your home in the future. The council wants you to decide for yourself and then make sure you vote for what you believe in. The offer document tells you what tenants will get if you vote for transfer and what will happen if you don't. Please make sure you read it and get an idea of what transfer means for you. To find out more about the proposed housing transfer, you can contact the council or independent tenant advisor, DWA. Here's how to get in touch. You can phone Harborough District Council on 0800 068 8223 or email stocktransferteam at harborough.gov.uk or you can contact Independent Tenants Advisors, DWA, Free Post SWC 5119, Telford, TF87ZA, and you can phone 0800 085 5492, or send an email to info at dwa-housingconsultants.co.uk.